Welcome back to our channel Storm Rider. When we talk about the future of naval power, nothing captures that idea better than the 2026 USS Zumwalt DDG-1000, a destroyer that looks and performs like it leapt straight out of a science fiction movie and into real ocean waters. From the moment you see it, the design completely stands apart from traditional warships, the sharp, inward-sloping, tumble home. Hull isn't just a cool visual, it's a deliberate, highly engineered shape that dramatically reduces how the ship appears on radar. Instead of bouncing signals back to the enemy, the hull angles scatter them away, making the Zumwalt look much smaller than its true 610-foot size. That stealth effect is combined with the ship's smooth, clean exterior, instead of exposed antennas, railings, and platforms cluttering the deck like older destroyers, almost everything on the Zumwalt is enclosed within its massive composite superstructure. That enclosure not only protects sensitive equipment from the elements but also reduces radar reflections and helps maintain the ship's futuristic silhouette. The entire ship, from bow to stern, was engineered to minimize detection, noise, and heat signature, which means that even its engines contribute to stealth. Instead of loud mechanical propulsion, the Zumwalt uses an integrated power system, IPS, which creates electricity through advanced gas turbines and sends that power through an all-electric distribution network. This is brilliant for two reasons. First, it dramatically cuts down on vibration and sound, giving the Zumwalt one of the quietest underwater signatures of any large surface ship. And second, it provides an enormous amount of extra electrical power, over 78 megawatts, which is more than enough to support next-generation technologies like high-energy sensors and, in the future, directed energy systems or advanced radar arrays. Even though the ship weighs around 15,600 tons, it can reach speeds near 30 knots, thanks to its power density and sleek hydrodynamic hull that slices through waves instead of slamming into them. This smoother profile means better fuel efficiency, improved stability in rough conditions, and a comfortable ride for the crew during long operations. Speaking of crew, Zumwalt's interior is unusually modern compared to older destroyers. With a complement of about 140 sailors, almost half the size of crews on earlier ships, the internal layout focuses heavily on automation, clean digital interfaces, and ergonomic workspaces. Long hallways, shock-absorbing floors, better lighting, and improved air systems make life on board noticeably more comfortable, which reduces fatigue and boosts operational performance. Much of this efficiency comes from the Total Ship Computing Environment TSCE, a unified digital backbone that connects propulsion, navigation, sensors, weapons management, communications, and safety systems all into one integrated network. Instead of multiple isolated consoles, the Zumwalt uses large multi-function displays and software-driven controls that allow fewer operators to manage more tasks simultaneously. TSCE is constantly updated with improved cybersecurity layers and data processing capabilities, allowing the ship to keep pace with rapidly evolving digital threats. The sensors onboard include an advanced dual-band radar suite, infrared systems, and integrated communications networks designed to work seamlessly with U.S. Navy fleets and allied forces around the world. These systems give the Zumwalt a massive situational awareness advantage, letting it detect surface vessels, aircraft, drones, and missiles at extreme distances while sharing data in real time. Weapons-wise, while staying fully safe to discuss, the Zumwalt is notable not because of any one system, but because of its flexible architecture. Along both sides of the hull are clustered advanced vertical launch system AVLS, cells, which allow the ship to deploy a variety of defensive and long-range strike missiles depending on mission requirements. What makes this special is that the Zumwalt doesn't lock itself into a single mission type, instead, its weapon suite is modular, meaning the ship can shift roles between precision land attack, surface warfare, or protecting allied ships from incoming threats. Instead of focusing on traditional heavy guns, the Navy has been upgrading the Zumwalt strike abilities with more advanced missile integration, giving it reach far beyond the horizon and making it a powerful asset in large-scale fleet operations. The ship's wide, strong flight deck supports helicopters like the MH-60R and unmanned aerial vehicles, allowing it to conduct reconnaissance, logistics support, and extended surveillance missions. The hangar is large enough to store aircraft, maintenance equipment, and additional mission modules, which means the ship's capabilities don't stop at the edge of its hull, they extend upward into the sky. 
Inside the ship, the engineering spaces reflect a design aimed at long-term technological growth. The IPS power margin allows the ship to take on systems in the future that would overwhelm older destroyers. That includes more advanced sensors, electronic warfare suites, or new long-distance precision weapons. The ship's cooling systems, power converters, and internal cable routing were all built with decades of upgrades in mind, allowing technicians to integrate new components without massive redesigns. Even the hull's composite materials help reduce maintenance, resist corrosion, and improve survivability. And because the Zumwalt's digital architecture is highly modular, software updates can introduce entirely new capabilities without needing to physically change hardware. In 2026, much of the Navy's development for the Zumwalt class involves enhancing long-range strike power, boosting electronic warfare defenses, and optimizing the ship's radar profile for emerging threats like hypersonic weapons and autonomous maritime systems. Taken together, the 2026 USS Zumwalt isn't just a warship, it's a floating technological ecosystem built to evolve with future naval strategy. Its blend of stealth geometry, enormous electrical power reserves, integrated computing, flexible mission loadouts, quiet propulsion, and long-range sensing makes it one of the most advanced surface vessels on the planet. Even though only a small number of Zumwalt-class ships were built, each one serves as a critical bridge between today's Navy and the next generation of naval engineering. In many ways, it's a test platform, a strike ship, a reconnaissance asset, and a digital warfare hub all at once. And that multi-role adaptability is exactly what makes the 2026 Zumwalt so exciting. It doesn't just meet today's demands, it's engineered to take on the challenges of the next several decades.